Hello, I'm Severin Suzuki speaking for ECHO, the Environmental Children's Organization. Vanessa Setti, Morgan Geisler, Michelle Quigg, and me. We've raised all the money to come here ourselves to tell you adults you must change your ways. Standing in front of you today to tell you adults you must change your ways. Speaking here today, I have no hidden agenda. I am fighting for my future. Losing my future is not like losing an election or a few points on the stock market. I am here to speak for all generations to come. I am here to speak on behalf of the starving children around the world whose cries go unheard. I am here to speak for the countless animals dying across this planet because I have nowhere left to go. I am afraid of the floods, the droughts, the hurricanes, the extreme weather that is unfolding around the world. I'm afraid to breathe the air because I don't know what chemicals are in it. I feel sad that not only two hours away from me, children in a nearby First Nation community never grew up on tap, tap water. They can't drink their water because of the uranium deposits contaminating their water. I'm worried about the polar bears because um, the world is getting hotter and then the polar bears won't have a home because it's just melting. I've heard the cries for help from children from Canada's north, the Pacific Islands, and around the world. They are telling us their families and communities are in danger because of rising sea levels caused by climate change. I can see the effects of climate change on our world and it deeply saddens and worries me. Today we hear of animals and plants going extinct every day vanishing forever. In my life, I've dreamt of seeing the great herds of wild animals, jungles, and rainforests full of birds and butterflies. Now, I wonder if they will even exist for my children to see. Did you have to worry of these things when you were my age? All this is happening before our eyes, and yet we act as if we have all the time we want and all the solutions. I am only a child, and I don't have all the solutions. But I want you to realize neither do you. You don't know how to get the carbon out of the atmosphere. You don't know how to bring the salmon back up a dead stream. You don't know how to bring back an animal, now extinct. You can't bring back the forest that once grew, but there's now a desert. If you don't know how to fix it, please stop breaking it. Please stop breaking it. Please stop breaking it. Please stop breaking it. As adults, you might have a job, an official title. You might be delegates of your governments, or business people, or organizers, reporters, professionals, or politicians. Really, you are mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, aunts and uncles. And all of you are someone's child. I'm only a child, yet I know we are all part of a family. 7.5 billion strong. In fact, 30 million species strong. And borders and governments will never change that. I'm only a child, yet I know we are all in this together. And should act as one single world towards one single goal. In my anger, I am not blind. And in my fear, I am not afraid of telling the world how I feel. In my country, we make so much waste. We buy, throw away, buy, throw away. And yet, northern countries will not share with the needy. Even when we have more than enough, we are afraid to share. We are afraid to let go of some of our wealth. In Canada, we live the privileged life with plenty of food, water, and shelter. We have watches, bicycles, computers, and television sets. The list could go on for two days. When children from Canada visited kids living on the streets in Rio, Brazil, one child told the visitors, I wish I was rich, and if I were, I would give all the street children food, clothes, medicine, shelters, love, and affection. If a child on the streets who has nothing is willing to share. Why are we who have everything still so greedy? I can't stop thinking that these are children my own age. That it makes a tremendous difference where you were born. I could be one of those children living in the favelas of Rio. I could be a child starving in Somalia. 
or a victim of war in the Middle East or a beggar in India. I'm only a child, yet I know if all the money spent on war was spent on finding environmental answers, ending poverty and finding treaties, what a wonderful place this earth would be. At school, even in kindergarten, you teach us how to behave in the world. You teach us not to fight with others, to work things out, to respect others, to clean up our mess, to not hurt other creatures, to share and not be greedy. Then why do you go out and do the things you tell us not to do? Do not forget the most important role of any generation of adults. To ensure that the world is as beautiful for the next generation who inherits it. We are your own children. You are deciding what kind of world we are growing up in. Parents should be able to comfort their children by saying, everything's going to be alright. It's not the end of the world, and we're doing the best we can. But I don't think you can say that to us anymore. Are we even on your list of priorities? My then I always says, you are what you do, not what you say. Well, what you do makes me cry at night. You grown up to say you love us, but we tell it to you. Please make your actions reflect your words. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Please save your children's future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So go.